All right, mud lovers, it's me and Matt today, and we're mudlarking, but in a different location. We're gonna explore some Victorian shipwrecks, and there's one just over there. But we don't want that one, we want some other ones, so we're gonna go out further, further out, and see what we can find. Let's get some luck in the muck. <laughs> mud lovers. Mysteries. That's all we can find. Comes a lovely thing. Mysteries. There's no end. Sapphires. <laughs> 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 but you are a mud lover. I'm a mud lover. I love all this stuff. It's a very foggy morning. This morning. Well, the first wreck we found isn't particularly old. Still quite interesting though. And this little line here, I believe, it's like part of a prehistoric wood. If you look closely, all these roots are embedded. And um, I've seen similar things like this up in London, up in town. More over here. Just gotta watch your step around here because the next step could be uh, down to your knee. <laughs> Well, not in that mud, but yeah. There's actually a number on the side of this, look. That might get Z out of the way. SSR 62660. We better find out what this ship was. Probably like 70s or something, isn't it? 70s. Who knows? Alright, let's get something a bit older. Well, that's a slightly older anomaly. We don't know if it's a boat or a fish trap or a wharf or something, but it's got a bit more age to it. There's something over there as well. Yeah, little pile of rocks. Well, it's like you come left a bit and you're alright. Oh, a strange little pile of rocks. I mean, uh, sometimes uh, if the boat has been here and it's had ballast on and then the boat was broken up, sometimes the, just the ballast remains. Could be that. Maybe. Well, there's one over there as well, but I think that might be a bit too far for us to go. There as well, and in. Yeah, no, it's a bit too risky. We'll stick to the ones near the shore, I think. It's like a bottle. It's a broken cord. Yippee! <coughs> Ready for the suck? Yeah. Mm, pretty plain one, but um. W. H. Miller, Raynham, Kent. Not too bad actually. I think I'll take that one. And the same bet comes along, but that's really cool. Obviously, there would have been a marble at the top there that was smashed so that the kids could get the uh, marble out. It's actually a glass stopper. That's why a lot of these cod bolts are broken. But the best bit for me is the, um, the embossing on the front. 
And then once this is cleaned up, there'll be lovely bo air bubbles and streak marks and stuff. So, yeah. And I'll cut it down. It can be up upcycled into something useful. Oh, I just found another bottle. Oh man, I'm at, I'm at that sort of do I carry on moment. Really? Oh, my sandwiches. Yeah. Oh man, there's loads of bottles here. That's a broken wine bottle. It's broken. Oh, oh it's still meat paste, meat isn't, paste it? isn't it? Or something like that. Little shipman's paste. Yeah. Bone. Oh my god, that's deep. Little sheer top one. Oh look, it's got something written on it. Something Paris. Benzene. Colas. A Paris. Yeah. Cool little bottle. Not really sure what that was. I think benzene's like a cough medicine, isn't it? No way. Well, we just found uh, an old wharf that has been torn down and they've got some amazing architecture. Come on, Matt. Oh, no, look. You see, you see look, that's where the electric cable was. So there were lamps. Oh, there, were, there were lamps. Yeah. Wow. So the rest, you reckon that's the rest, the rest of that stone? There's a stone, right? Oh, Matt's just making a meal of it. Yeah, look, you can see there's stone because they've got um, obviously uh, stone in them. But look, there's loads of them over here. Probably that. And quite a glorious. Um, Here one, day. So they were, la they were lamp shades as well, or lamp shades. Lamps? Oh. Lamp posts. Oh, because there's electric running yeah. for them. Ah. How cool is that? Oh, you can see some of the, um, just there, are some of the old headlamps. Oh, look. Yeah. Yeah, look. Played with these when you were a kid. They had the little thingy on it. These are street lights, aren't they? If your electric cable comes in through there, it goes up to there. Look, if you follow it along, we've got the street lamp. Yeah. And this would be the inspection box where you put the timer in and everything like that. And you used to play with them when you were as a kid? In the, back in the day. <laughs> to take them off and try and reset the timer, the timers. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, these are all old uh, street lamps. Cool, aren't they? Yeah. Made a little find, I didn't expect to see that. Oh, you can see there, look, there's, the there's some more cables coming through it. So, uh, maybe when electricity was first invented, these guys went up. There's, look, it's just loads and loads of them. Very heavy. Well look, we just found a plaque on one of them right stuck underneath and I can actually rub it off and there's some writing on so uh, stick around while I do that.
permit. Something about parking permit. One would imagine. Well, I, what is a permit doing out, out here? You can't drive out here. Public permit. Is that must? No, oh, it's not going to be boring, is it? I want it to be exciting. Dogs? Dogs must. Oh, not permit. Must be kept on the lead. No, it's about permit. Oh, must not. Oh yeah, it's all about dogs on leashes. Must not... Oh, it goes around the corner. I can't quite see what's going on around the corner. To the public... Well, these must have come from London or somewhere then. Or wherever. Oh, Matt, this is Lambeth. Oh, really? Uh, you see that guy is there? Lambeth. Cool. It's an unusual find. Oh. It says. It says Metropolitan Borough, I think, of Lambeth. Of Lambeth. Huh? Metropolitan. That's what it says. Dogs on. Must not be permitted on the public footpath. Dogs aren't allowed on the public footpath, something like that. A Victorian street out on the Thames. I can give you a date. Okay. The parish of Lambeth became a metropolitan borough in 1900 and it was replaced in 1965. It was abolished. It became London Borough of Lambeth. So between 1900 right. and 1965. Which, which I said, you know, I did anything from 30 to 50. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing is, again, that 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 label was put there at some point. It does not necessarily mean when the lamp post went up. But then, obviously, you, you, your period is 1901. Did you say? 1900 to 65. It was a metropolitan borough. Ah. Co concrete. They don't use concrete on streetlights nowadays. On modern ones, do they? They use metal. Right. So if you drive into them, you still survive. If you drive into that, you're dead. So yeah, look, there's just uh, hundreds. Obviously just been dumped here from Lambeth. A London street. Imagine all the things this has seen in the past, walk up and down.
saying, just over here, I think is one of the actual lamps. Let's take a close look. It's like a lamp to me. Oh, it was. Cool, they're heavy buggers. Yeah, look. It's quite nice, actually. Mad. It's really heavy. I'm going to hold it for a little bit. But it's actually been quite smashed up. It's a lovely bit of um, cast iron though there, look. Look at that. Nice little rosette on there. Little finial, finial finishing the top and a little curvy bit there. I'm trying to work out what this is made for. I think it's like a cast yeah, cast iron. And the little bulb parts in there, so yeah, I think we're definitely talking um 30s and 40s. Mad. Oh! And it's got, is it a on the yeah, lovely. Right, that's a key oh! Let's go and check out what Matt's found. Oh, he's found a few. Oh, he's been off finding bottles while I've been uh, purring over these lamp posts, oddly. There's just loads of them. Cool place. Oh, look at this big old boy. Obviously, landed here in the high tide, broken off. Look, yeah, number 40. <laughs> Would have held an anchor. Cool, Maul. Does that come away from Cornwall? Maybe it's just a trader's uh, maker's mark for this uh, particular boy. If you're watching, you've lost your boy and it's number 40. I know where he is. I must have just handed me this. Let's have a look. Again, I'm no expert. Don't know on that one. You're looking for percussion marks really. Doesn't seem there's got a little couple there, but it might not it might be natural. And you get touch-up marks along the edge sometimes, and I don't think there's any there. But then maybe clean it up and um uh, I will investigate further. Okay. Right, spot the bottle in the distance. I don't know if it's broken yet. In fact there's two things there. Hopefully I won't sink before I get there. I'd love it to be an old inkwell. Oh yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah, give me a second. Oh, it's broken. Actually, it's nearly, nearly all there, but that was a big old inkwell at one point. And you've got this one next to it. And it's just a plain greenie. Never mind. Put it that way around so that it doesn't hurt the birds. Well, Matt's just got a little find of the bottle variety. Neck. Looks a bit saucy there, Matt. I think it is a sauce. Ugh. Screw top, so not that old. Probably brown sauce or something like that, and they'll pickle. <laughs> and even more lampposts. Here's another lamp. Oh, it's absolutely stuck fast. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. Now, that is in better condition than the last one. Oh, you're thinking, everyone. Take it home and upcycle it, Si. Yeah. Let's 
tempting. I don't know though, it might be a bit too far gone. It's been smashed out of its hole there. Oh, it's got to be done, isn't it? Or has it? I need the other bit with it, really. Hmm, I'll think about that. I don't know, there's another top. Oh, this is a lovely piece. Look at this one. Oh, it's broken. Literally crumbling apart as I picked it up. Look at that. I just don't think they're gonna survive. Take it all over and it just breaks. So sad. That might work. I don't think this will though. It's got a cable running for it as well. I haven't got anything to cut that with. Must be a vine work though. Yeah, it's smashed to buggery. Hmm. Another one there. Again, that's broken. It's just been out here too long. It's like a scrapyard for mudlarkers. Big old sewage pipes, probably, that have, uh, I don't know, fallen apart and been dumped here. So I've got a theory about um, saving barrier reefs. Tell me if it makes any sense to you at all. When I went to uh, the Caribbean, there was um, one or two places that had wrecks, just modern wrecks that were uh, sunk either deliberately or not, I don't think it was deliberate. However, there was an amazing amount of fish and coral that stuck to these boats and shipwrecks. So I was thinking, why don't they just sink a few more? Not full with oil or anything, but just blank concrete structures in the sand and the coral reefs so that things can cling to them. Because when you look at whale carcasses and things like that, the whale carcasses are used as a little home until they deteriorate. So why don't we put a few more sort of pretend environments down there for them to latch onto? I don't know what made me think of that right now, but um, it's probably because there's lots of uh, creatures and stuff using rocks and bottles as their, as their home. I um, don't know, is that interfering with nature too much? Maybe it is. My thought for the day. So this is, this is my case in point, okay? So this um, pipe has been put there by accident or dumped, and it's, um, it's stoneware, so it's not gonna be polluting uh, by when it breaks down. But already you've got lots of seaweed that has clung to it. And you can imagine that'd be quite a good home for a crab or something. So on a larger scale, why don't we put some of these in the uh, near the coral reef so that things can uh, latch onto them. I'm sure they've already thought about it. But that's just, uh, maybe I've already seen it. What do you think? Am I talking nonsense? It's already been done. So inside this big lump of ceramic is a load of little snails or cockles or whatever they are. Sea snails. Again, an accidental environmental haven. That was never designed to be here, but nature is using it as a way to survive. Quite nicely too. I'm coming to have a look. Matt's found a dump of toiletry ceramics. Oh my god. Is 
Messes up the system there. Oops. That could be wrong, but it's loads of. That's strange. Yeah. Could be a dump mat. Not that sort of dump. Hehe. <laughs> So all around here there's um, oysters. It feels heavy, as in something in there. There's other ones that, um, that are dead. But there's some of them which are full. There's quite a few of them around here though, look. Oh, that one's dead. See look, what's happened here right is this one, this little one, has latched onto the bigger one. And I imagine that one's probably alive. And this is why there are holes in oysters, because when they string them up, imagine a piece of string going through there where my fingers are, they would uh, cultivate and uh, feed the rest of London. Theory proved. Another little uh, cluster here of oysters all clinging onto each other. Oh, the amount of oysters out here is just crazy. Oh, well done, mate. It's had a green poison bottle. Lovely job, Lee. Well done. Oh, look, it's got a bit of embossing on that one. Oh, what else has got on it? Idris, that will be. London. Not something else on the other side. Oh yeah, look, nicely just along that side. Oh, that's a lovely one. Yeah, I think I'll definitely upcycle that. Let's cut it there. Be a pen holder, kitchen utensil holder. Even put a candle in it. That'll look good later on. Well, there seems to be even more broken loose cisterns. So strange. Part of a toilet seat. How random, Matt. How random is this? Even more, uh, it's coming out of the bank. Yeah, it's obviously all been like that factory or something like that. Hmm. Well, these really are crap finds. <laughs> if someone said to me, Matt, I'd find a hoard of toilet cisterns and street lamps, I wouldn't believe them. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> Do we have to resolve this with a museum in London? Uh, we might not have to. We might get away with this one. 1930s, isn't there? Hex. Hex, I can one. Right there. You twonk. <laughs> Cool find. Found a lovely pipe site. Have you? Oh, for God's sake. Got a stoneware pot. Sometimes I've got a mate of um, Sometimes there's a bit of writing on, but this is just plain. Little marmalade jar. Oh my, a bit squeaky out here, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Nice blue poison bottle, you reckon? I think so. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, nice. Not to be taken. But we will take it, I think. <laughs> be rude not to, wouldn't it? You right there, our boy? I was going to say, you are right. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit deep round here. Oh, that's a bit of Roman. A bit of Roman pottery there. Cool. Nice rim. This time he has actually found a pipe. Ooh. Chilled, isn't it? Well, yeah. That could be terracotta. It's just heavily stained. I was going to say, I reckon it's just the stain in more, maybe, don't you? 
Yeah, maybe. Might be terracotta. The terracotta ones are rare. Yeah. Perhaps I'll clean it up when we get home. Good find. So I've literally come across toilet beach, for want of a better phrase. It's just, you can't even find a bit of mud anymore, it's just pure pottery in the way of old toilets. Wow, it's really bright. Oh yeah. So you all want to fall over around here? Take your hands off. E6. May have found a maker's mark who is responsible for this. Dalton. Still. Still Red Dalton. Yeah, probably from Lambeth then. I suppose it's doing no real harm environmentally because at the end of the day it's just clay. It's been fired to a high temperature. I reckon these all must be like seconds or something out of um, those lampposts, Matt. What for them? Um, Lambeth. And what, what do Lambeth also make? Doing the Lambeth walk, I don't know, I can't remember. Lambeth potteries. Well, this is saying Dalton on the bit that I've seen. Dalton, yeah, that's in Lambeth and all. So I reckon Lambeth had a big old clear out. Literally, <laughs> two more ways than one. Brushed and straight into the middle. Yeah. I would say these are all seconds. That'd be right, where else would they be here? Yeah, look, I've actually found a shipwreck. Hey, finally, we've got a shipwreck. I thought we were never going to come. I'm not sure on the age. Oh, that is a beauty. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a wooden hole. Instead of float as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You should take that, Matt. I think I might take that home. Take, take it home and play it in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt's found a piece of ceramic with the date on. So I, I'm going to guess 1938. Nope. 1938. Higher or lower? It's 15th of August, 1990. Really? Yeah. It's the same stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. How strange. One day before my birthday. I'll spot the find. Or spot the bottle. So look. Ah, oh, it's broken. Saying that, it maybe it ain't what it was. Oh, the mysterious bog still continue. Oh, look at that, it's still used. Loads of it. It's how random. So we've actually uh, spent a long time trying to get to this spot, not because of this, just because we've never been here before and it's a new area to explore. So this isn't an area where you'd get dog walkers or any walkers for that matter because it's quite a, quite a walk out here so you'd have to be quite um, determined to try and find this space there's not a lot here um, which is why um, you know it's not a very well well trodden path some cool birds and stuff and wildlife so um, they're all all right but this is all uh, ceramic which is made up of clay essentially sand and a bit of glaze on top so it's not going to be an environmental impact in fact, it could harbour some sea creatures. Seaweed is going to start taking over this anyway at some point, as you can see just down there. So don't worry about the environmental impact of this. It's all good. These are Matt's uh, finds so far. Oh, 
think it would take all of them, I don't know, but um Alas. Nice little pork pie ink well. Bovril. Is that daddy's? Yeah. Daddy's sauce. Yeah, shit pace and obviously that lovely little boys boy. You don't want this one though. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> it was very slippery. There's a message on there, it's saying not to be taken. Oh so yeah. Subliminally I shouldn't <laughs> be taking it. Nice one, what a map. So I've decided to take this lampshade home. Uh, it was a, of a street light originally. Let's see what I can do with it. I'm thinking about a big a big bulb in there maybe, big you know one was a big filament, LED probably. If it survives the cleaning process, it may fall apart. Um, but you never know, you've got to try these things. I love it. <laughs> Matt's found a skittle bottle. Skittle, so it's broken. But it looks like it says Struve Comp Limited Hooper. Hooper Struve. Uh huh. And then you've got Brighton. Nice. And I'm assuming that's London. Oh, London, yeah. London and Brighton. That's a real good one. Yeah. Thank yep. you. Oh, in there. <laughs> Down there. <clears throat> we got this one. Is that applied? That's applied lip, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. If not, it. And then got the lovely bit at the bottom. Doesn't look like there's anything on it. That's probably whiskey, mate. Oh really? Yeah. It's got two. It's got that sort of. Um, see the two-part mould, isn't the it? The neck sort of gives it away because it sort of comes out for some reason. Like that, it's all clogs okay. out. Uh, mm. Wine bottle. Yeah, wine bottle. Mm. And I think two more of the same. Okay. Well, someone's had a good drink around here, haven't they? Whiskey and wine and stuff like that. Well done. Yeah, this is a Rigdon. Just a Rigdon. Oh, Rigdon. Favisham. I might leave that one because it's huge. And I've got the room today. Travelling light. Yeah, 1910. Yeah. Wine bottle. And that's got some sort of light. Oh, that's an unusual one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, it is off your uh, light, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah, 100%. I think you should put no. it in your bag right now. Do you think it is? Yeah, I, I generally do. But I can't say. I'm not guaranteed it. Hmm. I suppose it would be, wouldn't it? Oh god, I've got to carry this home now. Oh, well, Matt's had a lovely ginger beer. God, you're doing really well today, mate. Oh, it's... Sweet. Lovely. Cool, well, we'll look at that later. Well, again, a bottle for me. Oh, it's plain. I thought it was going to be a... a little flask, pub flask then, but it's not. Interesting little cluster of rocks over there. I think I might make my way over there. Oh, it's knackering. Oh, lots of sauces in this area. Oh, another meat paste. Goodman's chop sauce. Mm hmm. And here's a more complete one of the big bovril. Can't quite see it there, but it's got bovril limited 16 ounce. Oh, there's a bottle sticking out of the mud there. Oh, that's an early one. Oh, is it in there? Oh, three part mould. 1920s, something like that. 
little marmalade jar there. Can't pick it up, my hands are full. Try it again. 